Florida is becoming the latest U.S. epicenter of the pandemic with a surge of new infections from the Delta variant there. The state now leads the nation in per capita hospitalizations. More than 10,200 COVID patients are now hospitalized. That's the most since this pandemic began. And the state hit its highest single-day total on Saturday. They had a reported 21,683 new cases. U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy joins us now from Miami to discuss. Good morning to you. It's very good to see you, Dr. Murthy. And, and despite those numbers in Florida, the governor there, Ron DeSantis, says there will be no new restrictions and he will not mandate masks. When you hear that, does it concern you? Well, Gail, good morning to you as well. And I'm deeply concerned about what's happening in Florida and certainly in many parts of our country with cases rising. And I think what we've seen time and time again, Gil, with the with the COVID-19 is that it's going to throw curveballs at us. Delta, the Delta variant, is the latest curveball. And what we have to be ready to do is increase our vaccination pace while we are using mitigation measures, including wearing masks. That's one of the reasons the CDC revised its guidance last week uh, to encourage more mask usage, because we know it's a powerful way to reduce the spread of the virus while we're getting vaccination rates up. Well, that's the problem. When the CDC revised its mask, some people think the CDC doesn't know what it's doing. The CDC is being accused of flip-flopping. I know that what you all are saying, we are updating the information based on the science that we have. But I think you have to be very clear about why wearing a mask is so important, vaccinated or not vaccinated now. Well, absolutely. So let's talk about that for a moment. The main message from the CDC's guidance last week was that regardless of your vaccination status, wearing masks in public indoor settings is helpful to reduce the spread of COVID, especially if you're living in an area that's got higher substantial transmission of virus. And why is that mask helpful? Because it not only prevents you from spreading infection to others if you happen to be infected, but it also protects you from getting infection if you happen to be exposed to somebody else. Now, the good news is that if you are fully vaccinated, you are in much, much, much better shape. Your risks of dying from COVID are dramatically lower. Of being hospitalized from COVID are also dramatically lower. And your risk of getting sick itself is also very low. If you do happen to have a breakthrough infection, it's very likely it will be mild or even asymptomatic. But what we learned, Gail, from the investigation in Barnstable County where there was an outbreak, I said people who are have those breakthrough infections, that small portion of vaccinated folks, they actually seem to be able to spread uh, the virus just like someone who's unvaccinated, which is why the CDC recommended that they also wear masks in indoor settings. For people like me who are parents with unvaccinated children at home, it's an especially helpful step that we can take to help protect those of us you know, who have family members who are vulnerable still. Dr. Murthy, it's David Begno. The CDC has said that the Delta variant is as transmiss transmissible as chickenpox. Tell us more about that. Well, it's a really important point, and this is one of the features of Delta which makes it so concerning and so different. Uh, the Delta variant seems to be the most transmissible version of COVID-19 that we have seen to date. It's why it's rapidly become more than 80% of cases. It's why it's driving our case loads up uh, so high, even though we've got 164 million people in our country who are fully vaccinated. Again, they are in really good shape and most of them are doing fine, but it's those who are unvaccinated who are struggling and they are primarily the ones who are getting infected. But the data about transmission that can take place in that small portion of folks who have breakthrough infections, that was also a key, key part uh, of what the CDC learned in recent days that led them to change guidance. And again, this is what COVID does, is it throws curveballs our way. We've got to be able to respond and change uh, our behavior, our guidance, you know, as the science, as the data changes. But the good news is we have the most important tool to get through this pandemic, and that is the vaccine. It's yeah. saving lives, and it can save more lives if we can just accelerate our vaccination rates, which is already happening, which is good news. We've just got to keep going. Is the Biden administration going to ask more businesses and schools to mandate vaccinations? Well, right now, what the administration is doing is, is not telling people what to do, but it's certainly uh, taking action in its own backyard, so to speak. So the president recently announced that there will be uh, requirements now for federal uh, employees to attest to whether or not they are vaccinated. And if they are not vaccinated or if they do not want to attest one way or the other, then they will be required uh, to wear masks in indoor settings. Uh, they will be required to test on a regular basis, and they may also not be able 
uh, to travel uh, for federal purposes because of potential increased risk of transmission. So that's, those are measures the federal government is taking as the largest employer in the country. I think what you are going to see are more businesses, more schools, and certainly more healthcare systems that are putting vaccine requirements in place of their own accord because they're realizing it's one of the most powerful things they can do to make the workplace safe for their employees as well as for their clients. Dr. Vivek Murthy, thank you. Thank you so much. Take care.